With South by Southwest just around the corner, numerous startups are gearing up to launch in hopes of being the next Twitter or Foursquare. One such startup is called Uber Life and is a social discovery service focused on extending online connections into the real world. The startup launched in the UK in January and launched in the US this week. And Sanchita Saha, Uber Life CEO and founder, is joining us now to talk about the company and its potential in a world already full of social media services. It's great to have you today, Sanchita. Hey, nice to be here. Great. Well, Uber Life has been said to be similar to Banjo or Ditto, as well as a combination of Foursquare and Google Plus. So, are these assumptions accurate in your opinion? Um, well, no, not at all. I mean, certainly uh, apps like Banjo, um, we're hearing more about Glancy and Highlight. They're definitely focusing around people discovery more, mm -hmm. uh, which people, who is around me uh, that I know through my networks so or that we have something in common with. Uh, Uber Life is really about groups of people, so it's more hangout discovery. Um, now, where the confusion is coming with Google Plus, where Google Plus is online hangouts, Uber Life is definitely much about is about real world hangouts, finding groups of people to hang out with offline wherever we go. Um, so, uh, at the moment, we have no people discovery in our network. You you can download the app and you find out what hangouts are happening near me. What what are people meeting up about around me? And that could be meet uh, hangouts based around interests. Uh, it could be uh, around uh, a gig that you really want to go and see that's going on nearby and you want to find a bunch of people to go to that with. Um, so definitely about real world and we're definitely about hangouts with your groups of people. So how exactly does it work? I understand that, that, it, that it runs through Facebook and, and Twitter? Yeah, that's right. So users can sign up through Facebook and, and, and Twitter. So if they connect their Facebook account, uh, we pull their Facebook flights as well. So if anyone from the Uber Life community is creating a hangout that matches one of those interests, or uh, say they're going to see a gig that you, li um, that you're, that you like in your Facebook profile, you get a notification that that hangout is taking place to go join them. Mm. Um, so you sign up through Facebook and Twitter, um, and if you can't find any hangouts that are going on that, that, that you're into, you can create hangouts around what you want to do. So whether you fancy like a quick beer after work, or um, as I say, you've seen that hot gig tonight that's going on that you want to find a bunch of people to go with, um, or you're into tech, uh, the startup scene, and you want to get a group of people together to bounce around some ideas. Well, Uber Life is an extension of a service called City Socializing. So can you explain this and how it all intertwines? Yeah, I mean, Uber Life is a totally separate service to City Socializing. Um, City Socializing uh, was founded back in January 2007. Uh, right now it's UK only, but we're soon to move it to a global platform. Um, city socializing is still in the online to offline space. Um, I really started it for uh, young professionals who are relocating to new cities, uh, who had no social circles in place, to be able to meet new people to go out and socialize with. Um, so city socializing operates on a subscription membership or revenue model. Um, Uber Life is a totally free platform. Um, and it's really as much about finding people through your own network to go and hang out with offline, uh, whereas city socializing is, is purely geared towards meeting new people. Well, getting into the, the Hangouts feature specifically, uh, are the Hangouts that, that users create within the service, are they public? They are. Right now, um, Uber Life is a totally open social network. Um, we are going to be introducing more privacy options so that you can only your friends and only your network will be able to join your Hangout. Uh, but for now, it's totally open. So anyone who is a member of the Uber Life community um, can if they want to join in that hangout, uh, and we and we and we encourage them to. Um, right now, there's certainly um, there's still an element of human nature that people kind of are resisting um, joining in the hangouts, especially the more personal hangouts that others are creating. So it's kind of naturally um, it's, it's, it's it's naturally private anyway. You kind of need a much more of an invite or to know that person. Um, but yeah, in effect, anyone from the Love community can join any hangout that's going on around them. Well, can you talk about the various ways in which the, the service is being used and specifically how brands can use it? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've had a couple of brands, actually, a food, a food brand, uh, a drinks brand, and a clothing brand that have reached out to us um, pretty recently. Um, and we also have had a couple of bands who are actually using uh, Uber Life during South by Southwest to um, arrange really kind of uh, impromptu fan meet and greets, which is awesome. So we have... Um, the DJs Gabriel and Dresden have got one up on the Friday of South By. 
Um, Shiny Toy Guns have got one on Friday or Saturday of South By. Um, so that's been really interesting to what, see, how, see uh, bands and artists using it. Um, brands, most certainly, I mean, we have yet to have one actually create a hangout, but their interest really is around being able to engage their customer base offline or to mobilize their customer base offline um, in really a fun, spontaneous way. So it's great for uh, things like flash mob events. Um, I think the, the main interest uh, for brand in terms of our platform is that um, when you create a hangout, any attendee that joins it and attends that hangout, can, they can check in, they can upload photos of what great time they're having or interacting with the brand and share that directly from the app through Facebook and Twitter. And that creates kind of a live activity stream, like a broadcast really, of the fun they're having during that hangout. And then afterwards, I think what's important for brands or what's interesting is that we're also about building real world relationships. So after the hangout, the fans or customers can start following each other in Uber Life to be able to hang out with each other again. Um, so as well as connecting brands to their customers, it's about connecting their customers with each other as well, which we think is really powerful. Absolutely. Well, why did you decide to, to launch in, in the U.S. around South by Southwest? I mean, South by Southwest is such a fantastic opportunity um, to test out in the U.S. digital community. Um, you know, anybody who's everyone who's passionate about tech, certainly the early adopter crowd, who are really there willing to give, give new things a go. Uh, it's a great place to sort of really test out our product. Um, similarly, in the South by Southwest, there are thousands and thousands of people coming in, flying in from all over the world, um, who are, you know, in, in a prime uh, position, really. Uh, the motivation is there to meet new people, to hang out with new people. Um, so it's just absolutely ideal. And um, I think any, any social app that's worth knowing, um, you know, from Twitter, from Foursquare, from Root Me Beluga last year, um, South by Southwest is definitely the place to be. Well, what is the connector score element of the service and what value does it add? Okay, so in Uber Life, we're very much focused on real world relationship building and, and the value uh, in the real world of connecting people. So essentially, the connector score um, a user earns when they connect two people through a hangout that they've created, brought two people together in the real world, and then you start following each other in the Uber Life. Um, the connector score for us is a real indicator of which members of our community are the movers and shakers, really. Who are the people that are bringing people together in real life uh, and making and, and helping those relationships take place? Um, we're soon to launch a global leaderboard. Right now, you just accumulate a score. Um, but in the next few weeks, we'll be rolling out a global leaderboard. So you'll be able to see uh, which members of the Uber Life community from all the way around the world um, are the ones who bring people together. And that's really powerful. Ultimately, when we move on to our business model, which is looking at local venues, um, and how they can be put in touch with these connectors who are bringing these people together. Right. Well, you have indicated that that Uber Life takes location sharing to a, to a new level. So do you think that it will threaten services such as Foursquare? No, absolutely not. I mean, we use Foursquare's venue database. We want to integrate more tightly with Foursquare. So we're big, big fans of those guys. Um, Foursquare very much about real-time check-ins. Um, and they've certainly done an amazing job building this venue's database. And I think that's one of their goals is, is to be the world's venue database. And, and they're doing an awesome job on that. Uber Life is very much more about intention broadcasting. It's where, where, where am I going to be? I'm, you know, I want to be hanging out here in, in two hours, in three days, in, t in two weeks. Um, so we're very much about intention broadcasting, looking forward to the future. Um, Foursquare is definitely about check-ins. And we're certainly soon our next... Uh, product rollout will include a Foursquare check-in integration as well. Very good. Well, as far as monetization goes, do you have a plan for profitability going forward? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I, I touched on earlier about local venues and connecting them with our real-world connectors in Uber Life. Um, ultimately, um, we've seen the city socializing, which is slightly more mature now. Um, for example, we have you know, 15, 16,000 people who are going out socializing together in groups offline and they're going to bars, going to restaurants, they're going to gigs um, and the revenue model for both city socializing and with Uber Life uh, is, is the same. City socializing, we're planning on transitioning from a B2C to a B2B model uh, but essentially it's, you know, we, we have all these groups of people who are spending their money offline um, and ultimately we're going to be look to work, looking to work with venues um, to see how we can create a platform for them to host their own profiles within the Uber Life community. 
um, and they send offers to those groups of people who are going out socializing in their area. All right. Well, congratulations on the launch. We wish you the very best with it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Reporting for WebPro News, I'm Abby Johnson.